Hello and welcome to DTWG The Prep Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at um, how to find the perimeter and area of irregular um, figures. So we have some irregular figures here. Okay, so um, in your GED test, okay, there will always be like two or one question on the irregular figures. So how to go around it, how to find the missing parts. I'm going to be treating that in this video and we're going to be doing these four figures here. So by the end of this video, I'm sure when you see any question like this on your GED math test, you would get it. Okay. So please stay tuned to the end of the video. All right. And um, before I go further, please try to please help me by subscribing to this YouTube channel, help this channel grow. And also you can check our website for summary notes on science and social studies, study guides, practice, uh, free practice uh, uh, test for your maths. You'll see that and the, uh, the GED formula sheet also, you see this in the website. And I'll leave the link, the direct link to those these resources in the description box below. Okay, and you can also join our Facebook group. Okay, um, over 15,000 members right now to support you. You know, any questions you have about the GED in your area, be it in New York, um, Arizona, California, Texas, you can always feel free to, you know, ask for any of the topics RLA, such as study science and the maths. All right, okay, so let's get on to this. And um, okay, well, I'm sorry to. Uh, um, delay. Uh, one more thing, if you require one-on-one -on -one math tutorial, you can also contact me. I'll leave my details here. I also have a math course, crash course. You can also try to get that, okay, at a very subsidized fee, just $5, okay, just to support you to make sure you pass your math test. All right, so now let's go on to solving this these questions now. So now this is the first figure here so we're going to find the perimeter and the area so um for the perimeter when you have a shape perimeter is just a summation of all the sides outside okay every side that you you can go through like from here to here to here to this point to this point also this point and this point okay i've noticed that most students i do tutor when i just give them do you know how to do this they try they 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 tend to miss out this point and this point they just do only this where the numbers are and that's their perimeter no perimeter is a submission of all outside like the outer sides you have to sum everything so to look for this unknown part okay it's easy to get this to get this from here to here, all right, all you need to do is you look at the opposite, the opposite line or side to it, okay? The opposite side to this is eight centimeter, all right? So, and you trace, just trace this down here, okay? Eight centimeter, all right? So from here to here is eight centimeter. And this line opposite to this, you can see we have from here to here, is four centimeters so here this part is this you know this is like a rectangular shape okay where opposite sides are equal so if this is four centimeter from here to here is four centimeter and we know that this whole length is eight centimeter sorry it's not that equal the, the, um, the figure is not that equal okay but we know that this here to here is four centimeters and the total length is eight centimeters so to get this unknown part is simply just your eight minus four okay so this part is what four centimeter and if this part is four centimeter remember opposite sides this part will also be what four centimeters so we've gotten this side now let's look for how to get this side okay so to get this side we still look we look at the opposite side all right so the opposite side is what uh, the total side is what five centimeter. We trace down, okay, and we look that this side is three centimeter. So it means that from here to here is three centimeter. If you've known this side and we know the total side, it's easy for us to get this unknown side. To get this unknown side would be five what minus three, which will give you two. 
So this 2 plus 3, you see it gives us 5, and this 4 plus 4 gives us a total as 8. So if this is 2 centimeter, it means here also is 2 centimeter. So we've gotten all our sides. Now it's for us to find the perimeter. So to find the perimeter, for you not to you know miss a side or repeat a side, you start from a point, okay, and end at this point. So let's start from this point and go... You can decide, okay, let's go clockwise, all right? So we add, we say 2, okay, plus from here to here, 4, then plus 3, then plus from here to here, the total length is what? 8, then from here to here is what? 5, and finally from here to here, we stop, is what? 4. So we add up all this. So we get 2 plus 4, that's 6 plus 3, that's 9. 9 plus 8, that's 17. 17 plus 5, that's 22. And 22 plus 4, that would give us what? A 26 centimeter. So the perimeter of this shape is what? 26 centimeter. Okay. So now to get the area. Now to get the area, it's quite difficult to just look for the area of this total uh, figure because it's irregular. So what we have to do is we have to divide them into what? Two rectangles, okay? So we divide the shape to rectangles. So for here, we can only just get two rectangles here, this shape. So I divide it like this, all right? So I now have here, I have one rectangle, I have two rectangles. So it is now easy for me to find the area of this and find the area of this, then sum it, and that will give me the total area of this figure okay or the shape all right so to get the area of this simple the area of the rectangle is the length times the width okay so here we have four times three and that will give us what 12 so the area of this first rectangle is what 12 centimeters square and here this is another rectangle all right where you can see from here to here is four which is also four here and from here to here is five so simply just your four times your five okay that's your length times your width and that would give us what 20 centimeter square so here you do five times four which gives us 20 and here you do four times three which gives us 12 so we have 20 and 12 and we sum them so we have 20 plus 12 and that gives us what 32 centimeter square so this is our area okay and this is our perimeter of the shape all right so this is how you look for it now let's go to the second one quickly now here we first of all have to find the perimeter so let's get all our sides so we have this side we have this side we have this side we don't have this side Okay, we have this side, we have this side. So it's just one side. We have to figure out how to get this side. Okay, so to get this side, let us trace. I always tell my students to trace so it's easy for them to, um, you know, determine it. Okay, so we look at the opposite what side. All right, you always look at the opposite because opposite sides are equal. And we know that the total length of this opposite side is 12 meter. Okay, and from here to here is three meter meaning that from here to here is what three meter and from here to here is three meter meaning that from here to here is also three meter and we know that the total length is 12 meter so to get this unknown length that's from here to here which is x we're going to subtract this three plus three we'll subtract it from what 12 that's three plus three uh, that's 6 and subtract from 12 we're going to get a 6 okay do you, I hope you get me we subtract 3 from 12 we have a 9 and subtract another 3 from 12 we will get a 6 so this place is 6 and if you sum everything together you should get a 12 3 plus 6 is 9 and plus 3 is 12 okay so it means this is what correct so if this is 6 meter the opposite sides here is also what 6 meter are you with me so we've gotten the sides all right so now it's for us to add okay add the outer side not the inner ones out okay the outer outer sides of the figure all right so we can start here and go clockwise all right so here 
the length from here to here is 12. So we have 12 plus the length from here to here is another 12 meter. 12 plus from here to here is 3. Then plus from here to here is what? 7. From here to here, don't always don't miss out. You know, some students will just do from here to here and go from here to here. From here, no, no, no. All sides around it must touch the perimeter around the what figure. Okay, so from here to here is seven. Then from here to here is six. That's plus six. From here to here is ten. That's plus ten. From here to here is three. That's plus three. And from here to here, that's fifteen meter. Okay, so this plus this is 24. Okay, 24 plus 3, that's uh, 27. 27. Uh, 27 plus um, 7, that would give us a 4. A 34 plus 6, that would give us a 40. Plus 10, a 50. Plus 3, 53. And plus 15, finally, we have 86. So the perimeter of this shape is what? 80. Is it 86? No, 88. It's 68 meter okay so that's the perimeter now let's find the area all right so to find the area we can divide this shape to three rectangles all right so i will divide like this this is one rectangle from here okay this shape here is one rectangle so this is rectangle one this is another rectangle here okay rectangle 2 and this is another rectangle here okay rectangle 3 so we get the area of this the area of this the area of this and sum it and that will give us the area of the total shape okay so get so to get the area of this first rectangle is what our length times our width now this is the length of this rectangle and this is the width okay that will be 12 plus 3 uh, sorry 12 times 3 and that would give us what 36 meter square okay are you saying this this is you this seven meter is from here to here and it's not the total length so it is from here okay this is the rectangle and this is the length and this is the width now for this one okay this is a rectangle here we know that this is six meter but we don't know what this value is this is an unknown x okay to go to get this value because it is this value that we need to multiply with this to get this area of this shape so to get this x let us trace down here press it down here okay so we if here from here to here is seven all right so it means that from this point okay let me put it up is seven so what would be this part okay because it's this part that would be x so to get this part is simply your 12 minus 7 and which will give us 5 okay 5 meter and you can confirm below if we trace this also here okay from here to here is 10 this is 10 and the total length from here to here is 15 to get this part is what 15 minus 10 which will give us 5 you can see we are correct okay so here is five here is also five you know opposite sides of a rectangle are equal all right are the same so if this is six meter here we have what five meter so the area of this rectangle here is five times six that's uh you know six times five that's length times width and which will give us what 30 meter square all right now coming to the third rectangle here this is the length is 15 okay 15 meter and the width is what three meters so just 15 times three which will give us what 45 meter square so the total area let us bring it here our total area is at 36 the area of the first rectangle meter square plus the area of the second 30 meter square plus the area of the third 45 meter square all right so this would be 36 plus 30 that would give us 66, then plus 45, 1, okay, 10, and 11. So 1, 1, that's 111 meter square, all right? You can see how we solve this, all right? So this is how 
you find the area of a shape okay let's do one more all right so let me clear this okay so we have this here this shape so to get the perimeter we have to look for all the sides right because we have to add up all the sides not just here they just put this length here to confuse you okay and you just do maybe 25 plus 20 plus 5 then you say plus four no 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 it's not that way okay you have to go around the shape that is how you find the perimeter okay so if this is five meter to get the unknown size this side will be what five meter okay so we have four meter here and it says uh from the top to bottom point is 25 so if this is five and this is 25 to get from here to here which if we trace down here will be what 25 minus 5 and which will be what 20 so if this is 20 it means here also is 20 opposite sides are equal okay so now we don't know this part this are this are we don't know this part and we don't know this part so we have to find it okay if from here to here is 4 and from here to here is 20 let's trace it okay so it means from here to here is four opposite sides so here is four meter okay so we need to find what's here and what's here how do we do this how do we do this okay so we just do 20 minus 4 what's 20 minus 4 that will give us what 16 and you can see that this is separated this is like two equal parts all right so if the remaining is 16 so it means we need to divide by two so here will be eight and here will be eight okay 16 divided by two is eight so if we add this up eight plus four is 12 and plus eight is 20. you can see we've gotten our, our total side so if this is eight it means here is eight and if this side from here is eight it means here is eight opposite sides are equal okay so we've gotten all our sides so we can now add up all right so we can start from here and go clockwise so from here to here is five meter plus from here to here the total is 20 meter from here to here is five plus five meter from here to here is eight from here to here is 20 from here to here is four plus from here to here is 20 plus 20 from here to here finally we stop here is what eight you see that and you see that this summation will be more than just adding 25 here <laughs> if we use we just say okay from here to here is 25 so it means from here to here is also 25 and you say 20 and 20 and add four it will be totally to be a totally different answer from what we're going to get here okay so here we add five plus 20 is 25 plus five is 30 plus eight we have 38 plus 20 we have uh 58 plus four we're gonna have 62 plus 20 we have a 2 and 8 82 and finally plus 8 we're going to have 90 meters so the perimeter of this shape is what 90 meters all right so that's our perimeter now to find the area okay to find the area we can only just divide this shape to two parts okay two rectangles by just closing this when we close this this is this is one rectangle and this here is another rectangle all right thank god we've at least we know this side so this the the area of this rectangle is your length times your width that's 20 times 5 and that will give us what a hundred and here is also your length times your width and we've gotten our length from here to here as 20 so that's 20 times 4 and that will give us 80 so we just sum this 100 plus 80 so our area is equal to 100 meter square plus 80 meter square and that would give us 180 meter square you see that as easy as that let's do the final one okay so you you know examples 
help you understand better and also practicing on your own. Um, that's why the, the math course, there's a lot of practice there. Okay, apart from videos, after the videos, you get about 15 practice questions for you to practice, okay, on that particular topic if you're finding it very difficult, all right? So you can check out the math course, okay? So here, I clean this up. So let's 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 go to this final shape. So this final shape, let's try to, you know, label the unknown ones. So if this is 4.5, it means from here to here is 4.5. Which other one don't we know? Okay, this is 9 meter. If this is 9 meter, it means here to here is 9 meter. All right? Okay, if from here to here is 3 meter, it means here to here is also 3 meter. It's 3 meter. Okay? So we know this, know this, know this, know this. We don't know this. We know this. This If it's, it's 14 meter, this is also 14 meter. So, and here, if this is 3 meter, it means from here to here is also 3 meter. So, I think our unknown points that is here and here. So, how do we find it? If we know that from here to here is 4.5 and this whole length is 12. So, to get, and we know that uh, from here to here is 4.5 and from here to here is 3. So, when we trace this, this is 3. So to get from here to here is this plus this and subtract from what 12. So 4.5 plus 3, that'll give us 7.5. We we'll subtract from 12. Borrow 1, that's 10, 5. We're left with 1 here. We'll borrow another 1, 11. And 11 minus 7 will give us what 4. So we have 4.5. So from here to here is also 4.5. So if this is 4.5, it means here also is 4.5. So now let's find the perimeter by adding all the sides of this word shape. So let's start, uh, where would be easy for us to start from? Let's start from here so we don't get confused. Let's start from here. Let me clean up this place so we have enough space to write down all the sides. So starting from here. From here to here is 4.5, so we have 4.5, then plus, from here to here is 9, plus 9, plus, from here to here is 3, plus, from here to here is 9, plus, from here to here is 4.5, then plus, from here to here is 14, then plus, from here to here is what, 4.5, plus from here to here is 3 let me come down here plus from here to here is also 3 plus from here to here is 3 plus from here to here is 4.5 and finally from here to here is what 14 meters okay you can see how long this is so you have to be very careful okay all right in the GED there are bigger shapes than this okay this is just a small one too you know to explain well okay so we have this uh for me i think let me just add all the 4.5 so I, I don't get confused about the decimal so 4.5 plus 4.5 is 9 okay so we have 4 4.5 that's 9 plus 9 that's 18 so let's just add up all the old numbers whole numbers here so we have um, 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 9 that would give us uh would oh, that give us 21 plus 14 that's 15 35 plus uh, 3 3 3 35 plus 9 that will give us 4 and uh, 1 that's 44 and 44 plus 14 that will give us 85 then let's add this 18 and that will give us 6 and 1 that is 7. So the perimeter of this shape is what? 76 meter. Now the area. So we can divide the shape to three rectangles. So I'll divide like this. It's rectangle 1, rectangle 2, rectangle 3. So let's find the area of this rectangle. The area of this rectangle is what? It's what 14 times 4.5. On my calculator, I have 63. And the area of this rectangle is, is what? 
we know from here to here as 3, but we don't know from here to here. So it means we need to find it. So let's trace up. Okay. We know that from here to here is 9. And from here to here is 3. What will be from here to here? Okay, that will be 14 minus 9 plus 3 is 12. So 14 minus 12, that will give us 2. So it means from here to here is 2 meter. So the area of this small rectangle here is what? 3 times 2, length times width, which will give us what? 6 meter square. So we have, where we write, okay, this is a, uh, 63, then 6 meter square. Then the length of this is, uh, the area of this rectangle is still 14 times this, which is what? 63. So finally, we have for our area, we have 63 plus 6 plus 63. That's uh, 69 plus 63, 2, 1, 6 plus 6, then 13. So our area for this shape is 132 meter square. Okay, don't forget your square meter. Okay, because um, I think some of these questions do have like, I think a box or maybe option for you to fill in. So when you're filling in, please don't forget to put your unit of measurement, which is what square meter or meter square. Okay, so this is our area and perimeter of this shape. Okay, so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. I know it's quite a long one, but I just want to do this one video to help everyone struggling with finding the perimeter and area of irregular shape. And I know that as you've gone through this, any questions you see would you know, be easy for you to you know resolve during the test and if you need more practice question you can get that on uh my uh, the ged math uh, crash course that i have the link is in the video description box of this video so thank you for staying tuned to the end please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share and like this video thank you thank you so much uh for staying tuned and finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon please do give your life to christ <laughs> he's a loving father he's a loving God over us, okay, and uh, He will just give us peace, and He's coming soon to take us home, you know, to take us to heaven at last, all right. And even while we're waiting for Him to come to take us home, right here on earth, He can give us heaven on earth, okay. He's here, He's here for you. So all you just need to do is accept Him as a personal Lord and Savior. Turn from every old ways and become a new creature in Christ Jesus. Okay? And give him the wills. And he would give you beauty for every ashes. Okay? Every situation you've passed through, even from childhood to now adulthood, he will heal you. And I've seen that happen in my life. And I know he has the power to do the same in your own life. So I wish you success in your GED. Uh, tests and also success in life. You are destined to win. Thank you and see you in our next video.